Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll share some of the essential shortcuts in Figma uh, that can truly speed up your workflow. And uh, for those who don't know what Figma is, it is a free graphic editor uh, and is massively used by the designers to design mobile apps, websites and things like that. So if you are interested in graphic designing or user interface designing, uh, you can surely try this tool. Um, it's for free and it's browser based. So. You don't have to download anything okay so enough of the introduction part now let's jump right into the video okay so first i'll tell the shortcuts for shapes and objects uh, these are the simplest one and you can remember them easily so uh, it's like f for uh, frames so if i click f uh, the drop down for frames will appear and i can choose uh, any of the frame um it's r for rectangle and uh, T for text. It's basically the first letter of the word. So R for rectangle, T for text, and uh, L for line. Uh, and it's a little bit different for ellipse. It's O for uh, ellipse. So you can memorize the shortcuts by the first letter of the word. And for ellipse, you can remember O because O simply looks like a circle. Uh, now let's say I have a rectangle and uh, um, I want to fill this rectangle with a color on my artboard so uh, we need a color picker for that and it's I for color picker so when I press I um, the color picker will activate and uh, let's say I want this red color so I'll hover on the on this rectangle and just uh, left click and then basically it will copy the same color of this rectangle now let's say i have these two rectangles one with the red color and let's take yellow for another one and let's say i have to align them horizontally so i'll select these two rectangles and press alt h for horizontal alignment and let's say i want to vertically align them so the same step um select these two rectangles and press alt v for vertical alignment now we learned that how uh, we can align the rectangles uh, now let's see how we can uh, flip uh, a specific group and uh, here i have a, a big rectangle with yellow color and two small rectangles with black and uh, white color so i have grouped them and let's uh, flip them horizontally so for flipping them horizontally we need to select the group and uh, press shift plus h so it will shift the uh, rectangle horizontally. Let me explain that by flipping this group horizontally, we do something like um, this. So uh, before we have uh, here, we have uh, the black rectangle on the left side, and after we flip it horizontally, that is shift plus H, uh, the black rectangle goes at the right. And let's see what happens. So after we flip, uh, it goes something like this. Uh, but with the same width and height and for flipping it vertically uh, that's the same step we have to select the group and shift plus v so what this does is uh, it changes the group something like this uh, and of course with the same width and height the next shortcut is to duplicate an object or multiple objects so select the object which you want to duplicate and just press ctrl plus d and this will be duplicated if you want to duplicate multiple objects select the objects and press ctrl plus d uh, this will duplicate all the selected objects next shortcuts are for zooming object so the first one is shift uh, plus one so it will zoom until you can see all the objects in the canvas and the second one is shift plus two so it will zoom in until you can see only the selected object so uh, if I select this rectangle and click shift 2, this will zoom in until I can see only this thing. And the third one is shift plus 0, so it will zoom to 100%. Then if you hold Z on the keyboard, then it will bring this small magnifying icon and you can, and then you can just hold left click and uh, select the area which you want to zoom in. So I have selected this small area and if I release my left click, this will zoom in until I can see only the selected area. Then for zooming out, we have to hold R plus Z and hold left click and select the area which we want to zoom out. Then it will basically zoom out things. 
then let's move forward to grouping shortcuts so uh, if i select these two groups and uh, press shift plus a it will auto lay out the selected objects and put them into a frame and if i select these two objects and press ctrl plus g it will simply group them uh, also if i um, select these two objects and press ctrl plus alt plus g so it will frame the objects so there's a last tip from my side in this video i have told quite a few uh, shortcuts and you must be thinking that do i have to remember all these um in figma absolutely no because when you click ctrl plus shift plus question mark um it will show a panel in which you can see all the shortcuts here for uh, uh, these essential shortcuts for tools view zoom text shape section cursor edit transform etc etc thank you for watching this video till now and please make sure to subscribe the channel it really motivates me and until the next one bye